Volvo EX90's game-changing battery upgrade, faster charging, and more power. Hey everyone, welcome back to EVpedia, your ultimate source for the latest and greatest in the world of electric vehicles. If you love staying ahead of the curve with breaking EV news, in-depth reviews, and exciting updates, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. Trust me, you don't want to miss out. And while you're at it, go ahead and smash that like button. It helps more people discover these electrifying updates. A huge shout out to all our amazing subscribers. You are the driving force behind this channel, and we can't thank you enough. Now buckle up because today's topic is a big one. Volvo is making some serious moves with its flagship electric SUV, the EX90, and trust me, this is a change you'll want to hear about. While Hyundai and Kia have already taken a lead with cutting-edge 800V battery architectures, Volvo's EX90 has been lagging behind with a 400V system until now. That's about a change, and in a big way, the EX90's big battery problem and why it matters. Let's talk about something that has been bugging EV fans for a while. Why is Volvo, a brand known for its innovation, stuck with 400-volt battery in its top-tier electric SUV while rivals like the Kia EV9, Hyundai Ioniq 9, and Lucid Gravity have already embraced 800-volt technology? Now, don't get me wrong, a 400V system isn't bad, but for a flagship electric SUV, it feels a bit outdated. Think of it like having a top-tier gaming PC, but with last year's graphics card. It still performs well, but it's not quite at the cutting edge. This is especially noticeable when it comes to charging speeds, where an 800V system would offer a huge improvement. Even Volvo's own ES90 sedan, which is built on the same SBA2 architecture as the EX90, is rolling out with an 800V battery system. So naturally, this raises an important question. Why should Volvo's most premium electric SUV be left behind? Volvo's game-changing 800V battery upgrade. Well, good news, folks. Volvo knows this is a problem, and they're already working on a solution. In a future model update, the EX90 will receive a major upgrade, a shift from a 400V battery to an 800V system. And this isn't just a minor tweak. It's a complete transformation that will make a huge difference in how the EX90 charges and performs. Volvo CEO Jim Rowan recently confirmed this exciting change in an interview with Auto Express stating, We started off with 400 volts on the SBA2 architecture, and then we want to upgrade that, partly because of range and faster charging speeds. Now we can put about 300 kilometers, 186 miles, of range on in 10 minutes. That's right, 186 miles in just 10 minutes. Imagine pulling up to a fast charger, grabbing a quick coffee, and coming back to nearly 200 miles of range. That's the kind of upgrade that makes a real-world difference for EV owners. How much faster will it charge? Right now, the 400V EX90 can charge at speeds up to 250 kilowatts when plugged into a DC fast charger. That means going from 10% to 80% battery takes about 30 minutes. But with an 800V upgrade, things get much, much better. Here's why. 800V systems allow for higher power flow, which means faster charging speeds. When connected to a 350 kilowatts fast charger, the EX90's charging time could drop by around 10 minutes. That means a 10 to 80% charge in roughly 20 minutes instead of 30, a massive 50% improvement. If you're someone who takes frequent road trips or relies on public charging, this is a game changer. Less time at the charging station means more time on the road, and that's what really matters. Will the battery pack change? Now, here's where things get even more interesting. Volvo recently introduced the ES90 sedan, which has a 106 kilowatt hour battery pack. The EX90 currently uses a 111 kilowatt hour pack, but since both vehicles share the same SBA2 platform, it's possible that Volvo might swap in the ES90's battery for the EX90. What does this mean for range? Well, 5 kilowatt hours less might shave off a few miles from the current 310 mile EPA rating, but honestly, with faster charging times, the difference is likely to be barely noticeable in everyday driving. The trade off? You'll get way faster charging. A win in our book. When will this upgrade happen? If you're thinking of buying an EX90, you might be wondering, when will this upgraded version be available? Well, the EX90 just started hitting dealerships, so don't expect this change overnight. Volvo hasn't confirmed an exact date, but based on typical EV refresh cycles, we can expect to see the 800V battery upgrade within the next three to four years, likely as part of mid-cycle refresh. That means if you're planning to get an EX90 soon, you might want to hold off if you care about faster charging speeds. But if you already own an EX90, don't worry. 
it's still fantastic EV. And DC fast charging infrastructure will only improve over time. What do you think? Let's discuss. Now that you know all the exciting details about Volvo's big battery upgrade, I want to hear your thoughts. Are you excited about the 800V upgrade? Do you think this will make the EX90 more competitive with the Kia EV9 and Hyundai Ioniq 9? If you already own an EX90, would you consider trading it in for the updated model once it arrives? Drop a comment below and let's talk about it. And while you're at it, make sure to share this video with anyone who loves EV news. You never know who might be considering an EX90 and needs this info. Final thoughts. Stay charged and subscribed. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. And if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like it. Your support helps us keep bringing you the best EV content. A huge thank you to all our amazing subscribers. You're the heart and soul of EVpedia, and we truly appreciate every single one of you. If you want to go the extra mile, feel free to use the super thanks button. It's an awesome way to help us continue making great content. Stay charged. Keep those wheels spinning, and we'll catch you in the next video.